Hey, this is Quinn, host of artofpodcasting.com. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. In this little lesson, I'm going to show you how to combine your audio and video sources so that you, you get one great high quality movie. Essentially what happens is if you don't have a real expensive camera in today's world, uh, most cameras, uh, the HD caliber cameras, they take great video, but the sound quality is garbage. So what I'm going to show you how to do is combine all that. It works real easy in Final Cut Express. And the steps are, uh, once you get them figured out, you can get it done in a couple of seconds. The first thing I need to point out is make sure you've got the snapping link right here. You need to make sure that is active. Uh, and that'll turn green. And then what you need to do is open up a new Final Cut Express folder, have your movie clip imported, and then have your sound clip that, in my case, I use the Zoom H4n. You want to have the sound clip in your bin. So as you see here, I've got the WAV file, which is the good audio. And then I've got my movie right here. And those are these files here. First thing I want to do is double click on the sound file of the movie. And I want to locate, in my, in my case, I just use a clapper. And you can see here, here's the spike in the audio file. And I'll just pan over that to make sure that is indeed the sound. And then I just want to mark it. I click the M button. And as you can see here, it's marked the video and all of the audio. Next step is finding the audio itself. And I got to go find that same point. Now you see here, I've got another spike. That was actually me bumping the microphone. So I know this is the marker that I need. So I'll just pan over it, scrub over it. And right there, that is the spot. So I'll mark that as well. And now what I want to do is just highlight. I'll highlight the first couple tracks. And I'm just going to cut them back to these markers. So I'll just drop that back. And it'll lock into place right on the markers. I don't have to worry about it. It goes right to it automatically. And then I do the same thing with my sound files. I just drag this back. and it locks right onto it. And then what I need to do is just sync up these ends and that's pretty much the same process. And you can see there it grabbed everything and now I'm completely synced up. The next step is just to go in, highlight your sound file and other people may do this differently, but for me, I just go in, I hit modify, I go down to link and I uncheck that. And that allows me to essentially delete the old sound that I don't want. And then I just bring up the new sound right up here, make sure that's linked up. And then you export that out and you've got your high quality movie. And that's all you have to do to get great quality sound. And you won't look like you're in an old Bruce Lee clip. Thanks for tuning in.